Hello, my fine peoples. Um, today's reading is from Bad Sunset, and this is uh, Chapter 2, the Conflict Resolution, which uh, two uh, members of the Conflict Resolution Squad uh, from uh, Washington, D.C., they've been educated in the ways of getting people to talk to each other, and then they go down to the, the Old West and have a little difficulty convincing uh, the locals that uh, that their ways are perhaps the more civilized ways, or the superior ways. So this is a uh, conflict resolution, old western style. Here we go. Okay, we'll need absolute silence here. Have you got that magic lantern, Bob? Sure. What are we looking at here, Bob? Jeff, we're looking at some slides. And they're firing at us. Ha 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 That's just the local custom, right, boys? These fellers don't know when to leave well enough alone. What we're looking at is some examples of conflict resolution, Smith said. Now you see this fairly crude cartoon rendering of two gunmen facing each other in an alley, right? Looks like some kind of showdown is about to take place. Bring it on! Yeehaw! Ooh -hoo. Oh, ooh -wee. Ah. Smith put in a new slide. This depicted the same two men sitting down over a cup of coffee and resolving their differences without violence. What's that they're drinking? That's just coffee. Sure it ain't got no whiskey in it? No, no, whiskey. These men are clear-headed, sober, reasonable. What kind of foolishness are you jawing about, mister? It's not foolishness, said Smith evenly, just a sensible way to settle disputes without anybody getting hurt, or nobody getting hurt, as you'd say it around here. Don't look like your partner there was too sensible, said Jabberjaw, especially with that then there mocha java. My partner was injured during the journey by rapacious Indians. There's no reasoning with them. Seems to me like your partner got his ass shot off, said Jabberjaws, who had the crowd's attention now. Seems to me like he's got one of them there prophylactics. Each new utterance brought louder guffaws. It's called a prosthetic, you moron, said Wellington with pained dignity, and my ass was not shot off, as you so delicately put it, it was removed in a surgical procedure. Engine shot his ass clean off, said Jabberjaws to General Merriment. What'd you do, try to talk to him? Hate him? Lay some of them philosophy on him? A hootin' and a hollerin' commenced strong enough to whip up a dust devil. These people are Philistines, said Wellington. We won't get anywhere with them. Who you calling a Philistine, said Jabberjaws. Preacher sure said them some bitches were nasty, itchy, scratchy, dirty folks didn't abide by the laws of God. You telling me I'm an itchy, scratchy bitch? He flared his lips, displaying two rows of shattered, rotten teeth. I meant no harm, said Wellington. Man means, means no harm. First he ups and insults me and my family and my lovely dog, Hydrangea. God rest your soul in hell, and then he means no harm. I got some harm, no harm for you, you no-ass goon. 